I will show you how to use Google Net or Inception version 1 to label an image you have in your hard disk using MATLAB. Okay, I have a 240 images. I randomly selected these images. Okay, and as you see, there is no name for these images. And in order to give them the name, we will use Google Net to give each image a unique name. As you see, it's faster to do it automatic renaming using Google Net. In addition, if you want to do it manually, you need to know exactly what the name of this, what the name of this. Uh, I don't know what is this. So let's see what kind of performance we will get from Google Net. But before we start coding, let me give you an overview of what is Google Net. Or inception version 1 so what is Google net Google net is a convolutional neural network used for computer vision or image recognition uh, this network use inception block I will show you later what inception block look like so Google net is the winner of image net challenge 2014 this stands for ImageNet Large Scale Visual Recognition Challenge. As you can see here, Google Net is outperform all previously network. AlexNet used to be the winner in 2012. And in this chart, we are comparing the performance of this network with the human performance. As you can see here in 2014, Google Net was very close to human performance on image. For example, if we give 100 image to Google Net and 100 image to human, Google Net will provide 7 error classification and human will provide 5, which is very close performance. Later in 2015, uh, ResNet come and outperform human prediction of the image by 3.6 in 2016 Google net version 4 which is inception 4 here we have inception version 1 was the winner in 2016 so let me show you what we are right now in 2020 okay so here is, this is a benchmark for image net as you can see here the first one is fixed efficient net uh, the accuracy is 98.7 okay and let me show you where is inception version one inception version three accuracy is 94 94 Inception version 2, 92, in 2015. Inception version 1, 89, is in 2014. So, 2014, this is what we have in 2014. Now, we have 98.7 accuracy in 2020. So, Google published paper regarding this inception idea and under the name of going deeper with convolution if you go there you'll see it's a paper and let me show you what it looked like it's interesting uh, you can read this paper if you want to know deeper about what is Google net and this is the idea of uh, Google Net. They have like inception block. Okay, the idea of usually convolution neural network is layer after each layer. There is no concept of like branching. As you can see here, like from previous layer, we have like four branches, and then we can concatenate them again. Then we proceed on. So let me show you the architecture of network. This is 
the layer of the network as you can see start with convolution max pole convolution max pole then we start inception inception and so on it's very large network here it is okay start from down here the input here you give an image okay the image goes through these layers and here's the first inception block here we concatenate all, all of these branches then we move again to inception block and we keep moving on, on and then the network will tell us what it sees like whatever image we give it it will tell you this image is whatever cat dog or, or whatever she think it is so this is the structure of the network okay so this is like brain okay if you teach this brain on let's say to recognize uh, different kind of cat breed of cat it will only be able to recognize different breed of cats so depend on what you train this network it will give you prediction so let's go back to ImageNet challenges uh, ImageNet challenges is you need to create a network that identify 1000 different classes okay so let me show you what are these classes so after you build this network you have to train this network to recognize all of these classes so it should recognize goldfish green letter all of these it's 1000 that's why they, they call it image net large scale visual recognition challenge and you need to train this network to recognize all of these by providing million of image to this network once you train it once this network learn to identify all of these images it become ready like you know let's learn everything then it's become ready to give it any image and it will give you what it said what uh, the network think about this images okay so and if you give an image not in this classes it will not be able to it can only recognize what she learned on okay yeah inside matlab uh, you can get exactly this network inception version one that it uh, already trained to recognize all of these images that's why we are going to use it to rename whatever image i showed you earlier to give it a correct name okay so let's start coding inside matlab i will do this section into two parts first i will show you how to use google net inside matlab then we will do the renaming of images so matlab come up with multiple network not only google net and this uh, pre-trained deep neural network one of them is google net that is what i'm going to use but th everything we do here can be applied for any other nets here alex net and here you can see the depths of google net is 22 the size is 27 and we have seven millions parameters image input size should be 224 by 224 if you see alex net depth is only 18 8 layer and parameters is 61 billion so parameters number is not a reflect of how network will perform the structure and the architecture of the network will determine how good is the network okay because Google net outweigh 
the performance of AlexNet. So let's go inside Mac. It is pretty simple to load any network you want. All you need is just to assign a new variables. Let's say net and write the name of the network Google if you Google it. That's it, simple enough. Let's run this code. Okay, it will take some time to load. Now we have the network loaded. So let's see if you write net dot layer, it will give you layers. It will give you all the layer for this network. Okay, so layer one contain information about image input. Okay, and layer last layer contain information about classes. So let's see if we have net dot layer one. We will get information. If you want to get any information about any layer above, just write net dot layer and the number of layer you are interested on. The first layer contain input size. This is the image that we should use as an input to this network in order to work. And the name of this layer is data. Okay, so let's check the last layer. Here, the name is output, and the classes we have 1000 classes. So to see the classes, we can see dot classes. Here we have all 1000 class. Wow. Okay. Yeah. This is the same one I show you. I showed you earlier. 1000 class. So basically not that layer give you information about anything you want. Okay. So you can visualize this network in other way by going to deep network designer. Okay. This is a GUI interface to design your own network, but we will use it here to to see the structure of this network. Let's load And here how it is look like. Okay, here you can put any layer you want and connect them and adjust the filter size, whatever you want. But right now we will import whatever we have here. We have a net, Google net that we loaded. Let's load it. As you see, we have 144. Let's zoom in. Okay. This is the input, input layer. And this is all the network. Here you can edit this design and come up with your own design. If you want to convert this network into Inception version 2, version 4, or you invent a new idea, you can easily design your network here. Then you export it. But here we just want to view this layer. This is classifier. Now let's get the input size. Let's store input size. Input size equal net dot layer layer one input size okay let's run this code this is the input size we need this to resize the image we have because the image I have is size is 
4 by 400 by 400 so we need to resize each image into this size before use it as an input to the network that's why I declare this variables we need also to store class name class name the comment dot layers here we know th the last layer is 144 but you can use and which gives you the last element last layer and here we do class classes class name let's say class name let's run this code names I think yeah names okay now we have a class name as you see 1000 class that's the whole classes okay we need this just to use this as a name for the image whatever image predicted we'll use this category to rename the image okay now we need to load the image let's do a test image for first to load an image first we store the image into variables okay uh, it's very simple to load any image into matlab the function is im read okay then give it the location of the image here we have folder of images images and let's choose some image mm, let's start with this one oh, let's see what is this zero zero three one dot gpg this will load the image let's run this code okay now we have image with a size of 400 by 400 okay now let's view the image view. to view the image uh, the function called I am show image show and uh, give it the image that you want to view and let's run this code and here our image and now we need to resize this image to the input size okay we have this input required input to use into the network so the function to do that is I am resize image resize you give it the image that you want to resize and the dimension that you want the new dimension new dimension would be input size from 1 to 2 because we don't want to get this so we only interest by 224 by 225 this three is for RGB so now if you run this code the image will be resized now we have the, the correct size of the image and let's show this image also after resized I am sure this is the resized version and this is the original one this is the sized one now th the image is ready for classification so the function for that is called classify you give it the network okay the network 
this one and then you give it the image that you want to rename so this function return two things it give you the label whatever class this image belong to like we have like 1000 class so it will give you what you think the image is so let's store that to label and it also give us the score which means like what is the probability that this image is what it think is so let's score Now let's run this code. Evaluate. Mm. Take some time to run it first. Okay, now let's see the label. So this guy, I think. This one is called Axolo, Axolot, Axolot. So let's see if this is true. Let, let me see what is. It's yeah, that's true. So Google Net was able to recognize this image. That's good. Let's see the score. Oh, the score it give you because we have 1000 classes for each class it give you percentage okay so we can have like max wow okay let's sort the score by descending order Score and type of this end. Okay. You see here. Usually, this is the maximum score. But in some images, let's let's choose another image. Let's the randomly some fifty. This one from here. This is the image I choose. Okay, this is before resize, after resize, and the label for this image is the label is. Cardon. I don't know what is Cardon is. Let us see what is Cardon. Cardon. Yeah, maybe. Okay, let's see the score we have. Short while descending. Um, Here they say it's 40% Cardon, 19 something else. So that's why we sort them. So if you want to get the top 5 result, that's it. But store function, uh, sort function, sorry, sort function give you value. This is a value and give you the index. So by index, you can use this index into class name to know what class are we are talking about because here. We only have the value, but if you have the index, we will have, let's say, if it's uh, open, it will give you the index of 16, which means open. So we can get the top five classes that they get the highest score. So to do that, let's, let's do value 
and IDX equal sort sort score score and listen let's run this code okay now we have the value and a score and the ID is so this is the ID so nine nine hundred forty seven is code on so if you go to the class name nine hundred Forty seven nine hundred forty seven. Yeah, so the ID give you like order order ID based on the highest score. Okay. So now what we need is to assign this ID into class name, so we'll have like better than having like nine four seven we'll have the exact name to do that we have like if we if we run let's clean this one CLS. and if we if we run like class names as we have all the classes class name and we give it the id from one to ten it will give us top ten result yeah it will give us top ten results So here we say class name top equal class name RDX from one. If you want from one to five, you get top five. Okay. Here we have top five prediction. But usually this one is a correct one. The other you will see later it will resemble like most of this is like vase daisy. It's something related to flower. And let's store top scores. So scores to equal score the same idea score with rdx from 1 to 5 okay. now let's plot this result into a bar chart and bar h we'll use the score Score top let's name X label. Oh first first let's see what we will have while doing that. Here we have like bar chart for each one of these. Okay, we can we can make it then. Okay, now we need to do some naming. Okay, let's X label will be probability and the title top then predictions and 
Y. Y tick levels will be class names. Will be class name. Top. And now let's see what we will have. Evaluate. Okay. This is the prediction. Now let's make the dimension of this figure a bit nicer by using xlim zero one. Run it again. Yeah, that's from zero to one. This this mean the x axis from zero to one. Which means here if it's here it's hundred percent probability. Here is this is the probability of this image. So let's choose another image and see what we will have. Let's see. Let me go to the mm. let's see what is the nineteen. run this image uh, resize resize it let's see the image this is the image and let's use this image as an input inside the network and let's plot the result top 10 results yeah the network predicted this is is polecat so let's see if this is true i don't know hmm. yeah that's weak and what we have here is That's what we have, and this is that's true. Let's do other random image 200. I resize it. I'll show this image what we have here. Yeah, we have this image, and now let's classify this image. And let's see the result. Wow, the prediction is almost ninety-eight percent strawberry. This is not strawberry, but the reason why we got this result uh, because they did not use rasp raspberry as a class in the training like we have like uh, we said it okay we have all of these classes so i don't think that we have like raspberry among these classes that's why the prediction was strawberry because it's very close do it Okay, this is a part is how to use any network instead of Google Net. You can use AlexNet. AlexNet. And if we load AlexNet, we are loading AlexNet. Let's view the structure of AlexNet. See twenty five layer. You see, AlexNet did not have uh, inception layer, as you see here. It's all straight 
there's no inception layer at all but however it was a winner in 2012 this is a network let's see what kind of classes we have with alexnet net dot layers and dot class What was plus names? Yeah, the same, the same class of ImageNet. So we we can use the same code here. Let's see if will give us the same result for this image. This image. Let's do classify and let's plot the prediction. Oh, we need to let's run everything. Oh, we have this error because let me show you why we have. If we go to the input size, yeah, evaluate. here the prediction using AlexNet a small difference let's use another image 240 last image we have let's do let's slow the image resize view the image we don't need to view it but we are viewing it just to see should be here yeah this is the image we have now let's classify and plot yeah as I said this is YOWL I don't know Just Let's ask Google. Yeah, that's true. And this concludes the first part. Okay, now we'll move to the next part, which is using the same idea to rename. To rename the image we have to rename all of these images okay so the label will be the name of the new image okay now the renaming renaming part okay so this is very simple like all we need is to load all the images and do loop and use classify on each image and use the label as a new name so let's load all the images images equal to load a folder to load all the file in the folder we use the function dir directory and here we need to provide the folder location and we're only interested in image or files that end with gbg star mean anything anything end with gpg so let me run this code and we will get if you check here we have 240 images it's image let's say image number one so each image has the following attribute each image has a name, a folder, dates, bytes, size. Okay, so we need to get the image 
location so image location is folder and the name okay so what we need to do is images one dot folder concatenate with this one then images dot name this will give you the location for the image okay so we can load the image and using uh, I am read okay so let's start the for loop for I equal one to the length of images let's end the for loop now image location let's take this one image location here we need i this is the image location now let's read get the image I am read image location now we need to resize it size and image and uh, input size okay. image and the uh, input size N next step to the resize now we need to classify okay and the label will be the new name new name equal label plus I plus GPG. Okay, this is a new name. Uh, we use I because we have same class, so we cannot use the same name for the same file. So we have like here will be like a cat one, cat two, something like that. Okay, this is a new name. However, this is string string uh, this is not string if we run this code we'll get error because the type of label is categorical so to see the type of any variables use class label and it will tell you the class is categorical so we need to convert it into string and now if we run this code you can see new name what it is you see give you the name and I this is a new name and let's get new image location your image location will be images of i dot folder okay. the same folder we, we will replace the images okay. this folder plus
in your name. Okay. So the new image will have this name instead whatever we have previously. So this is new image location. Uh, this is the original image location. And now the easiest part is to rename the image. To rename any file in MATLAB, the function is move file. Okay. It take like the original file and the new location. In new location, you can choose another name, so it will rename. It will move the file and rename. But in this case, we'll keep the file in the same place. So the image location. This is the original one and new image location this will give us the name and that's it okay so if you run this loop it will rename each image based on the label we get but let me before run it switch back to google net and uh, we need this line we need we don't we, we don't need this line no we don't need because we use only the label so we don't need this line and we don't need We don't need this one. We don't need this one. Yeah, we don't need all of these. Okay, so basically we load any network we want to use and we pick the input size because we are going to use it to resize any image. Then we load all the images and we loop an each image and we get the image, the input image, resize it, get the label using whatever network we load and get the new name based on the label but you need to convert it to string because it's categorical and here's the new name location and then we move the file to new location so if you run this code all the images will be renamed now let me summarize what we have so far and what you need to rename any image you have and then we will test the code so first you need to load whatever network you want to use and then you get the input size of this network and then you load all the images you loop over all these images get the image location read the image resize the image based on the input size but here we need, we need to specify only the first and second one because input size give you like if you run this one input size give you 224 224 and 3 we only need to 224 224 yeah. after resize the image is ready for input use the classify get the label use the label for new name and get the new image location and then rename the image by using move, move file old image location and the new one with the new name okay so now if we run this code all of these images will get a new name and we will see what google net will provide us uh, one more thing like you can use parallel pool in order to speed up the process so each core you have will process image at the same time so you will get very fast computation but for, for now we will do it just regular way okay so let me run the whole code and see what we will have see it starts renaming some images done 
that's fast. Okay, so now let's review some image and see what the, this is tiger. This is tiger fish, tiger cat, tiger cat, tiger cat, tiger pin. Tinch, let's see if there is something called tinch. What is tinch? Let's see. Tilt frog, let's see if this is true. Hmm? No, we don't know. Let's, let's just tap by. It's a cat. And sunscreen, I don't know. Sunglasses. This is strawberry. Strawberry, strawberry. Strawberry, stone wall, S stink horn. Let's see what is stink horn. Yeah. Okay, sport car, sport car. Sucks. Yeah, yeah. Because Google Net on or in general Image Net challenge, they did not include any humans, so the network only tried to figure out what she is training for so they train it on socks so detect the socks image snow leopard just to snail seashore seashore shield simian cat that's amazing and salt shaker that's not true but makes sense sea lion okay uh, red wine revolver this is I don't know about breed of dogs, but let's see if it does do. Yeah. Amazing. Now this is let's see what this mm, maybe. We saw this one. Persian cat. Mm. Motorcycle. Orange, orange. Correct. Mashed potato. That's correct. Mask, mask. Ah, this is mosquito. Yeah, as I told you, they don't train it on human. So figure out this is like mosquito screening mosquito net that's cool lipsticks lipstick lipsticks Let's see if this is yeah let's see what it's predicting here oh yeah, because the the fur, if you see here, based on this, he predicted common common door. Okay, next side. Let's see if this is true. Yep. What about this one? Green, like that. Lazy, lazy. Yeah. Uh, church. Different breed of dogs. That's correct. Boxer, box turtle, um, bath, bath towel, maybe, bald eagle, we saw this one, and acoustic guitars, 
uh, a gamma. Let's see if we have something like that. Yep. And the Rick, that's correct. American alligator. Yeah, I think because this is like, let's see. Yeah. Mm, I play in. So in general, they got them almost all of them. So here are we to get the name of these images. Like uh, as you see, some of these we don't know. Like, like if you see most of these, I don't know the name of them. Okay, enjoy. Thanks for watching.